Hello YouTube. Today we're going to go over basic scanning. I've had a few people in my corp ask me uh, how to properly scan down systems efficiently and uh, this is about the easiest way I've found to do it. So first off let's talk about ship fittings. I am currently using an Emicus simply because it is a tier 1 frigate. It is very easy to get into and you don't need a lot of skills to fly it. Um, not only that, it's extremely cheap. If you're going to have a scanning ship, you might as well get the ships that were designed for it. This particular scanning ship can easily fit an expanded probe launcher. Um, this is your primary scanning uh, module. You're going to need eight core scanner probes. Uh, you can always go with more expensive ones, but the tier ones are fine for now. I threw on a micro warp drive simply for you know the speed that it can achieve if I needed to run quickly. Uh, a scan pinpoint array, a scan range finding array, and a scan acquisition array. Uh, these all have really really great bonuses. The de the deviation on the pinpointing array is negative ten percent. That helps quite a bit at low skill levels. Well, it helps quite a bit on high skill levels. The range finding array gives a scan strength bonus of 5%, which is very, very useful. And finally, the scan acquisition array uh, cuts back on the duration it takes you to scan, uh, which speeds up the process even more. Uh, in the low, I have damage control, uh, an explosive plating for resistance, and a small armor repairer. These are all T2. T1 equivalents are just fine. It's just for scanning. Uh, because I have all this fancy equipment on it, I did have to use some uh, some modules with it. Uh, two overclockers and an ancillary current router. Uh, due to the low CPU on this ship, just about anything you fit is going to need these modules. They are not very expensive, but you do have to add uh, some skill points into rigging to be able to use them. Alright, as far as the ship goes, other than the drones that are in the bay, that's about all there is to this little ship. And as I said, this is not a combat ship. This is only to scan. So we'll go ahead and undock. And we'll go down here to the left of our capacitor and we'll pull up our scanner. And as we can see, we have two signatures in space right now. Now, I usually like to set up um, safe points and things like that, but I have not set one up here. But I have an old mobile tractor unit area, so I'm just going to warp to within a certain area of where this once was and it'll be my safe point. It's never good even in high sec to sit outside of a station scanning. Uh, there's people out there like uh, code and just overall just people who are a pain in the ass that like to blow you up just for laws. And while it's not a big deal with a ship like this, it is annoying. So, we have come to a stop. I will disengage my probes. And once my probes are in space, I will bring up my probe scanner once more. And I'll bring up the map. And if I look at the overhead map, it looks like both of the cosmic signatures are almost on top of each other. One is much bigger than the other. And I'll choose to do the pinpoint formation. When you first pull up your scan probe launcher for the day, it'll be in spread formation. That's practically worthless. Always go to your pinpoint formation. Drag it over to the center of the area, grab one corner, and expand it. And this will allow us to scan this whole area right here, all in one pass. So we'll go ahead and hit the analyze button and we will wait for our probes to warp to where they need to be and then start scanning. 
and it looks like we have got a nice 21 and a half percent scan down of this particular area we'll move it over to the center and we'll drag one corner and we will shrink the area of scan down as much as we possibly can without worrying that I may have shrunk it too much and we won't get a signature once we do. I'll hit analyze again alright we know this is a combat site so shrink it down one last time and always make sure you check both of the primary axes to make sure you are truly in the center and analyze the last time. After this we should have a exact location of where that combat site is located. Alright, that is a Serpentus Narcotics Warehouse. Now we can save this location to our personal locations and once we've saved it we can go back to it at any time. In the meantime we'll click on our other cosmic signature and we see that it is not very well known but that's okay we have a generalized hoop of an area so we'll try and center our scanning area right in the dead center of this thing and sometimes I do better at this than others this is not a time where I'm doing very well at it alright we'll analyze it All right, getting a little closer. As I said before, simply shrink it down, make sure it's centered. Analyze again. Down below 1 AU, we should get a really big boost in scanning this time. Okay, it's another combat site. And we'll center just a little bit more, put it there. Now, unfortunately, you can only drop down to 0.25 AU. That's as small as the game will allow you to scan in. So you want to be pretty close on the last one if it's one like this. This is a very hard to scan down site. Uh, and hopefully with all the tier one stuff I can still scan it down. I believe I can though. And I have. This is a Serpentus Phi Outpost. So we'll save this location as well. We will recover our active probes. Close our map. Go ahead and reload. And just to show you that we actually did do what we were supposed to. That was the last one, the Phi Outpost. I'm going to warp to it within a hundred. This ship is definitely not designed to do it. And this is actually a DED 4 of 10. No wonder it was so hard to scan down. Uh, the last mob in this one might give a faction drop. Might not be a, good, a bad idea to bring back a combat ship for this and an ancient acceleration gate is where it will go to. Alright, that's it for basic probe scanning. Hopefully this uh, will help some people out in my corp.